Welcome back to the channel, folks. Today I'm going to be talking about drone surveying, but more specifically, drone deploy the software and why I chose it as my weapon of choice for processing all my surveys. That's why I've been in surveying now for 15 years. The last four of those I've been using my drone and it's been an incredible tool to add to my toolkit. I've immensely enjoyed flying the drone, but more importantly, the deliverables that I've been able to get out of it. My weapon of choice for software for processing all my drones has been drone deploy. It wasn't always drone deploy. I have used other softwares, which I won't get into in this video. This video is not sponsored by drone deploy. I just wanted to make it because I wanted everyone else out there to see how powerful the software is. Let's get into it. Let's take a look at the software, show exactly how powerful it is and what you can get out of it. And then you can decide whether it's going to be something for you. Okay, so we just jump into Drone Deploy here. And this is the main website page where you'll be logging in. So I'm just going to click here on my dashboard and it's going to take me in. As you can see, the best thing here about Drone Deploy is that it's just really nice and simply laid out here with all your projects. So in here, I've got a couple of my own projects and then I've got some of the example projects that Drone Deploy have on there so that you can play around and see exactly what can be done. So let's just jump into one of my simple projects that I've done here and already uploaded the photos so as you can see it's got a nice Google Maps behind it and then here is kind of a map of what I've done with my drone it was a survey of some compost heaps now what I like with drone deploy if we just step back is the process of getting everything up and running so we come in to upload to upload any photos and then we literally just drag and drop our media in here. And then what it'll do is it'll come up with a little box which will geolocate the area that you're in and you press yes, you press what coordinate grid you're on. And then you basically leave drone deploy to process your survey. That's as easy as it is. And then once everything has been processed, it'll come back and it will actually show up here on this screen. So jumping back in here, if I just turn this off, this is some work that I've done previously, you'll have your survey. And for example, with this one, I was doing volumetrics. Now what I love is these integrated tools. So here's the volume tool here, and you can just press right there and drag and drop for a volume of a stop pile. I mean, how easy was that? From a surveyor's point of view, you're not having to drag this into any other software to try and create a volumetric survey for any customers. It's just right here. And this can all be exported into a really nice PDF or Excel sheet. You can change your material type. You can even put in the densities and then you can do different terrain model or a digital surface model. So that is the volumetric tool, which is one that I use all the time. They also have some really good features. For example, this one here is area so you can quickly work out an area this one here so like a point of interest so if you've done a survey and there's certain things that you know you need to point out to a client you can just drop this on here and then add in like an issue or a note again i think this is a feature that a lot of other companies don't really offer and has a huge advantage for you when you're kind of providing this information to your client. So this is a new feature that I actually haven't tried out, which is Stockpile AI. So let's see how this works. Okay, so it's not too bad. Kind of picked up this main stockpile here. We've got a distance tool right over here on the right-hand side, so you can pull off some distances. Again, super helpful for getting information from your survey. Now, if you actually want to pull your survey out and process it in other software, so sometimes I'll take my surveys out and process them in CAD or LSS, because there might be some finer details that I want to pick out. I love the fact that I can literally just shoot over here and export, and I have the ability to export a point cloud, a DTM, which is really interesting. I've actually worked with this before and pulled off a DTM and then done a DTM through LSS and it is so accurate and it goes straight into CAD format. So again, yay to drone deploy for bringing out that. You can do things like elevations and you can change the parameters for the elevation and what you'd like to show. And then, yeah, you can just export all of this here. Plant health, something I've not really looked at, but I think would be really interesting to any kind of farmers out there. But getting back into actual the software and just how easy it is to move around and process, basically, it is really good. I would recommend jumping on the free trial that Drone Deploy offer and having a fly through putting a survey in there and, and just seeing exactly what it is that you can get out of it let's just jump here into maps so it will give you the location of all your photographs and then you can individually jump in and view that photograph which can be super helpful just getting a bit more of an in-depth view i'm going to show you guys the mesh model so if we go 3d model here and before you export it you can actually view 
your 3D mesh model. I like sharing this with clients because I think it's pretty impressive and they can see their whole project. So that's another thing uh, that Drone Deploy does really well is the ability to share your project with your clients. So you can literally go in and send them an email link and then they can view however much information you want them to view. One of the things that I have noticed recently that I haven't actually used, but I look, clicked on one of their example projects. So we're gonna do that now, so clip into here. We've got these kind of little annotations, which is really cool. We've got some measurements on there. And then I do believe if I step back, there's another project. So Drone Deploy are working on being able to integrate video footage and pan ams from internals of a building which we're working on with mobile mapping at the moment what that means is if you've got a drone flight and then a building that you've surveyed you can then jump into that through drone deploy which i think is incredible i don't really know what is on their roadmap in terms of indoor mobile mapping surveying technology and being able to process that through the same software but it'd be really exciting to see if they do come out with something there you go so you're inside the building and then you can jump right back out yeah, so I firmly believe that Drone Deploy are pushing forward in the software industry when it comes to drone surveys and um, processing them and being able to provide just more than like really basic outputs. So another favorite feature of mine, um, which I actually don't use, but I'm desperate to because I've got an old DJI drone. But if I had a new one, I would love to use this. And that's the ability to actually pre-plan your flight and then fly through using the Drone Deploy app, which is available on any DJI drone. So you can go ahead, for example, here, create a standard flight and you can adjust everything that you need to and plan uh, the flight before you even get to site. This is super helpful and would help massively with my workflow. You can do your height, I think you can change, yeah you can do advanced so you can do like your camera angle, you can do low light. This would be a bit of a game changer for me but like I say at the moment it's something I haven't been able to make full use of but if you've got a new DJI drone, I think like the Mavic is super popular right now, this would be super helpful because you can go and plan all your flights if you've got two or three flights a day then you're going to be super productive because you literally rock up on site, everything's ready to go, you literally press connect drone and fly. That's pretty cool. I previously had to use two different softwares to fly and then to process. I like the fact that this is just all covered in one. I hope that video was super useful and you are able now to see exactly what it is that Drone Deploy can do for you as a drone surveyor. So like I promised, my top tips for workflow with Drone Deploy would be take in your images straight after you've done your drone flight and get them up onto the cloud and processed as soon as possible. Don't leave your information on your drone. Make sure you have a backup of all of your data too. Two data sets is the absolute minimum. When you've gone out and done a survey, the last thing you wanna do is lose data. When you put it into Drone Deploy, make sure that you process with your GCPs straight away. You don't wanna be reprocessing and adding information at different points. So make sure you put your GPS information in for your ground control points and get that process first. Don't forget to share your project with your client. And this might sound silly, but nine times out of 10, I take my surveys out of Drone Deploy in the point cloud and then use different softwares to create a DTM and I forget to actually share some of the deliverables that Drone Deploy are absolutely amazing at giving with my client because nine times out of ten this is what blows away the client and ends up with them coming back to me for more drone surveys and drone flights so don't forget that in Drone Deploy you can share information with your clients super easy and it looks fantastic really easy to use for anyone that is not in surveying so don't forget to share your projects okay that's it I hope you've enjoyed the video don't forget to hit like subscribe for all things construction in my world and drone surveying this has been really enjoyable and if you have any questions please pop them down below take care